Good morning and welcome to our weekly video fishing report brought to you by Trally's Fishing World Geelong and Trally's Tackle World Laverton. This week we're going to talk about the salmon offshore and along the coast, the Barwon River, the whiting around the peninsula, the squid as well, uh, freshwater front we're going to talk about Wendaree, Bull and Mary and Parambeet. Chris will start off with the salmon. Out off Barwon Heads last week this, there was some trophy salmon around up to three kilos in size. Uh, anglers have been spotting them just by the sheer mass of the fish. They're, they're creating like a big dark silhouette just under the surface. Um, and those sounding over have been saying like they've been in 20, 30 metres of water and their sound has only been reading six metres of water. That's how thick the salmon are. Um, at times they have been finicky, so casting plastics has been the go. Um, three to five inch plastics in clear colourations has been most successful. Or when they're up on the surface and they're busting, uh, 25 gram jigs in pilchard or white bait pattern has been the go. Single lure hooks are, are awesome because uh, these salmon have just been barreling off at a million miles an hour then shooting out of the water, so it stops them throwing the hooks. And don't forget, if they're up on the surface, a popper can be a good option too because you have some great visual strikes on that and it can be really good fun. The Barwon River's been fishing really well for the elephant fish at the moment. Fresh pilchards, squid, things like that have been the key. There's also the odd mid, small to mid-range mulloway being taken. It's a nice-sized trevally and also the odd brim for those guys that are going to the trouble to get their bass yabbies and things like that. The whiting have been really good. I headed out on Saturday night and did quite well on those. Uh, right on the change of, sort of, on dusk, at the change of light period, they went a bit quiet as the uh, sun went down, but then they came on nice and strong once it got completely dark. So sometimes when you're out there and the sun starts going down, they will go off the bite. Once it's completely dark, they generally come back on stronger than they were going before. So it pays to persist in that sunset period. The squid over at Clifton Springs are the go at the moment. Uh, the deeper water's definitely the sh worth the shot for the bigger fish, up to a kilo and a half. So uh, days when the water clarity is high is good because you can spot those weed beds in the deeper water. Uh, size 3 to 3.5 jigs are definitely worth it for those bigger fish. And those squid tend to be a year-round thing at the moment. We used to think back in, you know, 10 years ago, guys would sort of only fish for squid between August and Christmas, but now they seem to be year-round and guys are targeting throughout the whole year. We'll move on to the freshwater now. Wendaree's been great. Uh, fishing first light, casting shallow diving lures over the, uh, in and around the, uh, the island for the guys that know Lake Wendaree and just making sure they're brown trout or rainbow trout pattern lures as that seems to be the go-to thing. Just remember that change of light is the key up there, so dawn and dusk is the peak period of those trout having a feed. As well as that, Bull and Mary's been fishing really reasonably well for the salmon and Parambeet they have been getting some nice trout out of there at the moment and that will continue to improve as we head into winter and uh, yeah, we should see some really good fish coming out of Bull and Mary this year, especially those Chinook that are growing very quickly. Just for Purim Beat, it's downrigging at the moment. That seems to be getting the bigger browns. Moving along to our specials this week. On Saturday, between 9 and 12, we're running a special on Pippies. They are going to be going out at $10 a kilo. You won't find them better than that. And these are quality South Australian Pippies. We'll move on to the specials. We have a tuna spin combo that we've made up here in the shop. Dyer Excella 4,500, spooled with PE5 50-pound braid. Uh, Shimano Pelagic Nano PE 3 to 6 rod, so capable of handling most tuna out off Port Ferry, Portland, and Warnable. Uh, the cast slugs, cast stick baits, cast poppers, this week only, $4.79. So there's some serious savings to be had there. Get in store and check these out, they won't last long. Run out product this week is the Shimano Waxwing. We're going to be doing those this week. Buy one, get one free. They've been a great little all-round lure. Everything from tuna, salmon in the larger sizes to redfin and trout in the smaller sizes. We also have some a new range of Eco, Eco Gear Micro Jigs. These are a pretty good jig. Nice and versatile. If you want, you can take that top assist hook off and they make an excellent slug for salmon. So get in, check these out. Good range of size, good range of colours. As well as those, we have these Angler's Republic Slow Jigs. Been very popular, especially with the coming into the tuna time, and the guys that have been targeting the Kings have been doing really well on these. Great range of colours, awesome hooks, all decoy hooks on these ones, so come in and check these out. As well as that, for those people who want to take the kids out over Easter, we've got a huge range of kids combos in here starting at $9.95. I'm sure there's something that'll get you out there and into the fish over Easter, so come and check those out. 
For the guys that are chasing tuna, we've got a huge range of tuna lures as well as plenty that are rigged and ready to go for those guys that don't want to go to the trouble of rigging them. So everybody out there, have a good Easter. Get out there and have a fish. I hope you have a good weekend. And don't forget, here at Charlie's Fishing World Geelong, we match all genuine prices. Cheers. See you later.